everybody. Um, I'm trying to record a video for almost every question that I've been getting so far today. Um, this is another one. Um, somebody wondered whether I recommend sharing videos on YouTube because I've been doing that for this. Um, no, I think the easiest option for you guys is probably to just share them on Google Classroom and that's probably what most of you will be doing. So I wanted to walk through that pretty quickly, um, especially for younger kids, younger than middle school, I recommend sharing them on Google Classroom or on my Calm Day. Um, so I have another video on how to record yourself, um, but I'm going to um, share that briefly now. Let me just get my screen shared. So very quickly, just because I have this in another video, um, you can go to your regular email, you know, where this is, um, on the little waffle icon there. Um, oh, that's the wrong button. I made a mistake. Um, waffle icon, and then where it says meet, hit meet. You can join or start a meeting um, there. If you're starting it, you can just put your name. Um, you can also start it through creating a calendar event. Again, this is in a different video, so I'm just doing this really quickly. Okay, you join now. And then to record, you go to this little um, three dots on the side, on the right side, record meeting. When you're done, Oh, you could also hit present now. And that's where you present your whole screen if you wanna show some slides or um, go online to inspire science or show something else to the students. Hit record meeting. When you're done, you'll hit stop recording. And at that point, uh, the video will be automatically saved to your Google Drive. So that's really nice. Uh, it'll show up, it'll take like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, be patient if it's a big video, um, and it'll save automatically to your Google Drive in, just a minute, let me leave this one. Um, so it'll save to a folder called Meet Recordings. It's always going to be that. So it might take a little while to show up, but it'll save to a folder called that. And there you'll have all of the videos that you've made. These are mine so far today. Um, and it'll just show up there where you can rename it. Um, when it first pops up, it might take a little while to process, so just be patient. So once they're all there, that's where they show up without you having to do anything. Um, you probably have your Google Classroom already created. Um, this is one that I created for a different purpose, for arts and bots, but I'm just using it to show you how to add it to your Google Classroom. Um, under classwork, you can go to create. And here I have different topics um, that you can put them under. If you're doing a Google Classroom, like for all of second grade, your topics might be math and language arts. Um, you might have those subject area topics, but this is just an example. So I can create material. And I love how it makes it pretty easy for you. Uh, you're gonna go to add with a little paper clip because you're adding a file that you created. And you can actually hit Google Drive. So watch how easy this is, this is awesome. Um, it might be under recent, but you can just go to my drive and find meet recordings. You can search for it if you need to, but so there it has all of my meet recordings that I've done so far. Um, so if you've done one of these that you wanna add to your classroom under that resource, you can just click on it. So I'll just click on that first one and then it'll be there. So number two, Tuesday. You can title it whatever way you want, you can describe it, but it'll link in there um, for students to click on and watch from home. And I'm just gonna post it. So that's done. Um, and that's what it'll look like for them to click on. So that is the, um, the short answer, sort of, to that question. I recommend that if you're recording a lesson and posting it 
that that's probably the easiest way for you to do it is to record it under Google Meet and then share to Google Classroom because it makes it so easy for you to do. So I hope that helps. Bye guys.